Welcome to What We're Enjoying Wednesday, part of Elmhurst Public Library at Home, the library's online program series. Each week, our staff will be talking to you about what they're reading, watching, listening to, playing, or otherwise enjoying. Hi, I'm Miss Allison from the Kids Library, and I have two books to share with you today. This week, my five-year-old and I, my five-year-old and I have been enjoying Thank You, Omu by Oge Mora. Omu makes a delicious smelling stew and as the scent wafts out the window of her city apartment, many different people smell it and come and knock on her door to ask for some stew. But as she gives all these people the stew, what do you think happens for dinner? This is a lovely book about gratitude and it's been a lot of fun to read. Also, it is on the 2021 Monarch and Bluestem Award lists. So we have many copies in our library right now. So definitely come take a look. The other book I'd like to share is Baby Beluga. I've been reading this to my baby and it is a song that was written by Raffi. Um, I've been listening to Raffi since I was a child and this was one of the first songs I ever learned. And it's been a lot of fun to sing with, with my five-year-old to our, to our new baby. And uh, Rafi himself just made a video with Yo-Yo Ma that's available on YouTube where he sings this song. And for those of us who remember Baby Beluga as kids, he adds a new verse. Um, we've had a lot of fun with this book. We really like the pictures of beluga whales and all the other animals that live up in the Arctic. Thank you. Hi there. This week I've been reading the Falling in Love montage by Sierra Smith. It follows Saoirse, an Irish teenager who's been having a rough summer, what with her dad getting remarried, a recent dramatic breakup, and her mom moving into a care home for people with Alzheimer's. When she meets the mysterious Ruby at a house party, she welcomes the distraction of Ruby's challenge of a romantic comedy trope inspired summer with no strings attached. However, when they both inevitably catch feelings, will Saoirse be able to get over her fear of being hurt again and give Ruby a chance? Read and find out. Hi, my name is Molly and I'm currently reading When You See Me by Lisa Gardner. In this novel, a young couple is going hiking up in the mountainside in a small town in Georgia when they stumble across human remains. An investigation ensues and suddenly the police and FBI are finding many bodies piled up on the side of this mountain. So then Going back 15 years, they're wondering how in the last 15 to 20 years have so many bodies piled up here? Who's putting the bodies here? Who are these women they're finding on the side of the mountain? And what's really going on in this small town? So it was a really suspenseful novel um, with some twists and turns. And um, I really enjoyed it and got there pretty quickly. Hello. A book that I've enjoyed listening to recently is Dear Ajiwele, or A Feminist Manifesto and 15 Suggestions by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. It's actually a letter that Chimamanda writes to her friend with 15 suggestions for how to raise a daughter to become an empowered, independent woman. It's not only a good book for parents to read, but for everyone to read because these 15 suggestions lay a good foundation for an, a gender equal society. It's pretty quick. It's only an hour to listen to, or if you're reading the print, it's only 80 pages. I hope you enjoy it. Hi, I'm Nula from the Kids Library, and I just watched an amazing documentary on Netflix called Crip Camp, which is about the history of people with disabilities fighting for their rights. And it ends in the signing of the American of Disabilities Act, uh, which just had its 30 year anniversary on July 26th of this year. So the story starts in Camp Jeanette, which is a camp in the Catskills in the 70s run by hippies where um, kids with disabilities could go and be just like any other teenager and enjoy all the activities that um, everyone would at a camp in the summer. So some of these kids go on to become incredible activists and when they're adults, they are doing things like staging sit-in protests in government buildings. They are staging protests outside, one which caused gridlock in Manhattan and all to get the government to pay attention to these different laws that will give them the access and the opportunities that everybody else has. One woman in particular, Judy Human, you just marvel at her leadership skills starting from when she was at Camp Jeanette in the 70s as a young woman and then what she organizes. It's just incredible to watch. 
So watch this. If you're a person with disabilities or you know someone with a disability or if you just love inspiring stories because it is fantastic.